Hey guys, what's going on? Blading back for another Netflix review, and today I'm gonna be talking about Honeymoon with My Mother. Honeymoon with My Mother is a Spanish comedy that tells the story of Jose Luis, a man who is unexpectedly ditched at the altar of his wedding and finds himself in an emotional slump because of it, and despite his mother's attempts to cheer him up, nothing seems to break him out of his funk. He soon realizes that everything he paid for for his wedding cannot be refunded, including his would-be honeymoon in Mauritius. After considering his options, he decides to go on the trip with his mother so as to not waste the trip, and this results in the pair reconnecting with each other while trying to enjoy the vacation of a lifetime. I found myself in the middle of the road with this one. It's nice to see another movie taking place in Mauritius again after last year's Resort to Love, but this didn't always meet the mark, mostly because of how divisive the main characters were. Jose is kind of a blank slate, except for how much he whines, mopes, and complains throughout the movie. I can't understand his frustration at the beginning due to the emotional toll that being left at his own wedding would have taken, but after a while his negativity starts to become overbearing. A lot of the time his negativity isn't even directed toward his ex, but more toward his mother, who doesn't have anything to do with his problems. This could have been an opportunity to explore how his mother's actions affected his upbringing in the past, and there is some of that, but it's not explored as much as it could have been. I also didn't understand what the filmmakers were trying to say as far as him having difficulty with being single. Even though the movie makes him out to be someone who can't handle being alone, he repeatedly tells his mother that he wants to be left alone. His motivations remain muddled and confusing throughout the majority of the story. In contrast to Jose's dour disposition, his mother Marie was a big source of radiant positivity and easily the best part of the movie for me. I love how feisty her personality is. She raises up a fuss over the smallest things in order to stand up for her son and takes advantage of the trip as much as she can. Her love for her son and traveling is evident right from the start, yet it's also clear that she harbors some degree of resentment for having to forgo her passions in order to fulfill her duties as a wife and mother. It was interesting to see her try to navigate her feelings in these areas while also reconciling with and supporting her son at the same time. The relationship between mother and son is a bit of a mixed bag for me. The best part of it is how funny and relatable their banter is. Even though Jose is in his 30s, this does not stop Marie from treating him like a child and being overprotective of him, which often results in embarrassment. Some of these instances include Marie applying sunscreen on Jose's face in public, telling him that she knew his ex was no good, and always wanting him not to do something because it isn't safe. I think anyone who watches this movie can relate to at least some of the nagging Jose's mom does, and it's hilarious to watch unfold. But like I said earlier, Jose's negativity eventually gets in the way of their bonding. He complains so much that he makes it hard to enjoy certain scenes even when they're clearly trying to be entertaining. There's barely any times where the guy can take a break, and even when he does, he still finds a reason to be sour about it. Normally, I'd be understanding of his situation if he wanted to go by himself, as is what happened in Resort to Love, because he'd be forced to meditate on his actions on what led to this point. But instead, he lashes out at his mom over things that aren't even related to his ex, and this makes it hard to sympathize with his problems when he's angry at an innocent character. Thankfully, the comedy does make up for the abundance of drama to a certain extent. Much of it comes from the fact that Jose and Marie are forced to attend the resort while pretending to be newlyweds. The misunderstanding this creates among the supporting characters, combined with Jose's horrified reactions to his mother's commitment to the act, added to the awkward charm this movie had. Something else that added more to the comedy is the language barrier that exists between Marie and the island residents. She declares things as being included in the honeymoon package when they're not, which causes conflicts that spiral in humorous fashion, and she always inserts herself in situations where Jose speaks English. I never knew what to expect from her, and this kept me invested to see what would happen next. There's also a good amount of scenario situations that add to the variety of the humor, as well as making good use of the tropical setting. Probably the best one I can think of is the running gag involving the Green Emerald, the nickname for cannabis in this movie, and how Marie goes on a quest looking for it while dragging along Jose, who wants nothing to do with it. I am glad that the movie features a lot of these zany, offbeat situations, but I found some of them to be excessive. Occasionally it resorts to gross out toilet humor which I'm not a big fan of, while other times it focuses on a joke that goes on for way longer than it needs to, leaving me wondering when it would pick things up again. There's also tonal shifts in between these jokes and the story at large that can be jarring when trying to understand what's being conveyed on screen. This is made worse by the soundtrack, which frequently flips back and forth between being dramatic and lighthearted, and this makes for an inconsistent tone. Even with 
how overdramatic it can be at times, the Mauritian scenery does help to offset it. The easygoing atmosphere, the aesthetic appeal of the resort, and even the cinematography of the surrounding areas helps bring the setting to life, even if it does get bogged down at times. I like that both Jose and Marie have love interests that they interact with. Jose becomes enamored with Sarah, a fellow Spaniard who lives on the island as a tour guide, while Marie spends time with a mysterious photographer named Armando. Both of these love interests provide an outlet for the main characters to vent their frustrations, so it avoids further dragging down the mood of the story. This being said, those characters themselves don't have all that much depth behind them. Sarah does have some personality, but the payoff behind her and Jose's romance is half-baked and never really goes anywhere. And while it is intriguing to see Marie interact with Armando despite her being married, Armando's arc can be seen coming a mile away. There is a good message to be found regarding marriage readiness, and how people feel compelled to get married without considering what they truly want for themselves. Unfortunately, it does come pretty late into the story, so there's not a lot of time to digest it, but it is nice that the sentiment is there regardless. Overall, Honeymoon with My Mother is a mildly enjoyable comedy that does generate some laughs out of the audience, even though one does have to put up with some groans along the way. If you like comedies that take place in vacation or tropical settings, and you don't mind putting up with a problematic protagonist, I think you might enjoy watching this one. The main characters are equal parts annoying and entertaining, which leaves the other parts of the movie to help carry the weight of the story. And while it does have its fair share of troubles in paradise, its core essence as a fun comedy experience does come through in the end. What did you think about this movie? Did you enjoy the variety of comedic situations in it, or were you also bothered by Jose's negativity? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up my review of Honeymoon with My Mother. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always stay tuned for the next part, where next time I review the German comedy Rumspringa. Bye-bye!